What's going on everybody and welcome back to another Through the Years and today we have Trent Richardson Unfortunately, he's going down as one of the biggest busts in NFL history. Now, I was planning on doing him a lot earlier. However, he was still on the Ravens at that point until I saw the E60 special on ESPN where he, he's actually been cut. He had a knee injury, so they released him. But hopefully, his career is not done. But as of right now, we're doing his through the years, and he is technically a bust but i'm hoping that he can get another chance in the nfl and redeem himself man now anyways man in the NCAA 10 they had two or well, they had one freshman running back but in real life alabama had two freshman running backs they had trent richardson and they had eddie lacy so i looked up his uh weight and his um height on the alabama roster for 2009 and he was listed at 5'11 220 and then into the blade 10 he's 5'11 219 so i figured that this is him so anyways man he's 84 overall 91 speed 88 agility 93 acceleration 85 break tackle 86 trucking 77 elusiveness also comes in with an 80 ball carry vision 84 stiff arm 84 spin move 81 jerk moving at 81 carry now his numbers for that year look like this as a true freshman 751 yards on the ground, averaging 5.2 yards a carry, 8 TDs, and 877 yards from scrimmage. Now, again, if you guys want me to do somebody, let me know down in the comment section below. I still got to do Brian Erlacher. I still got to do Zach Thomas. still got to do so many guys. Dante Culpepper. But, again, always let me know who you guys want to see. Now, anyways, man, Tim Tebow. Tim Tebow is on the cover of NCAA 11 and Trevor Richardson. He is the second string running back, and he's also the main kick returner as he does work right here versus LSU. Now, anyways, man, in NCAA 11, he comes in. At 92 overall, 92 speed, 86 agility, 96 acceleration, 88 break tackle, a 94 trucking rating, 77 looseness, 88 ball carrier vision, 85 stiff form, 76 spin move, 72 for his uh, juke move, and then an 84 carry. So definitely an upgrade but i like the fact that they lowered some of his you know juking ability and stuff like that but his trucking and his power was still there which is realistic because he was more of a power back in my estimation of his career at alabama and just as a runner in general now this team was a team that won the national championship man they have marcel Darius at defense attack i believe they had high tower you know what i mean i believe i want to say that mosley was a freshman maybe it was the year after that he was a freshman but i mean this team was stacked man just freaking stacked julio jones mark ingram y'all know but Anyways, his numbers for that year, he rushed for 700 yards, averaging 6.3 yards to carry, 6 TDs, and 966 yards from scrimmage. Mark Ingram is on the cover of NCAA Football 12, and Trent Richardson comes in at 95 overall as the featured back. OMG. Now, anyways, man, he comes in with 92 speed, 89 agility, 96 acceleration. Break tackle is at 90. Trucking is at 94. Illusion is at 80. Also comes in with 89 ball carry vision. 85 for his stiff arm. 76 spin move. 72 juke move. And 86 carry. Now his numbers as the featured running back for the Alabama Crimson Tide. 1,679 yards. Averaging 5.1 yards a carry. 21 TDs. And 2017 yards from scrimmage, absolutely beasting and feasting. And now this was a team that won the national championship versus LSU, which I felt was weird as heck having two conference teams play the national championship. But hey, you know what? They clearly were the two best teams in the whole freaking nation. But anyways, man, his career as a virtual player in the NCAAs is 90.3 for his career overall in those three games. Now, anyways, man, Madden 13. His rookie season, he comes in at 83 overall with 90 speed, 88 agility, 96 acceleration, 95 trucking, 76 elusiveness, 92 ball carry vision, 87 stiff arm, 90 spin move, 82 juke move, and a 93 carry. So definitely one of the better rookies in the game. This was a year where you had Andrew Luck. You had RG3, you know what I mean? You just had some great, great players. But, man, Trent Richardson was that dude at halfback. Everybody wanted to use him, man. 
even if it was, it was, it was, it was even if it was like mutt or whatever, people wanted to use Trent Richardson. You know what I mean? And the Browns, they I thought they found like a good good running back. Everybody was comparing him to Adrian Peterson when he came out. Like this is the best running back since Adrian Peterson and stuff like that. And the Browns passed on Adrian Peterson. I forget I, I forget who they got that year, but they did pass on Adrian Peterson. But anyways, man, his numbers his rookie season looked like this: 950 yards on the ground, 11 TDs, averaging 3.6 yards a carry and averaging 63.6 yards per game not the best stats but that is the record for most rushing yards for a rookie running back including the great jim brown however jim brown played in the era where they play like 10 game seasons so it's really not a fair comparison but you know it it is what it is he has the record let him have something anyways man this is madden 25 on the xbox 360 and his numbers look like this or, or his attributes i should say look like this 87 overall with 90 speed, 90 agility, 94 acceleration, 95 trucking, 77 illusionist, 93 ball carry vision, 88 stiff arm, 92 spin move, 88 juke move, and a 91 carry. So he was definitely supposed to be like that dude, man. He rushed for 950 yards his rookie year. That's not, it's not spectacular, but it's definitely far from being bad. You know what I mean? And then all of a sudden he gets traded. And I don't care who you are. Everybody was shocked when he got traded. And the Browns say that he couldn't find a hole as quickly as they wanted him to. And looking at some highlights of his in the pros, that's kind of true. That's kind of true. And of course, Alabama back in college had one of the best offensive lines. So you know what? Maybe what they said is true. Now, anyways, man, his second season in the league, he rushed for 563 yards, three TDs, averaging 3.0 yards per carry and averaging 35.2 yards per game. That is very, very, very not so good. Anyways, man, Madden 25 on the PS4 next gen back. Well, I can't really say back then. But anyways, man, same attributes. Everything was the same. 87 overall speed was 90 everything was the way that it was on the 360 days and again i was shocked man when he got traded to the colts man and maybe the browns they knew something that we didn't know or the browns got lucky because the Colts were desperate for a running back because the Colts gave up a first round pick for him so i mean hey it is what it is you live and you learn matter 15 80 overall He's 80 overall when this game came out with 88 speed, 90 acceleration, 84 trucking, 73 illusionist. Also comes in with 79 ball carry vision, 87 stiff arm, 91 spin move, 85 droop move, and an 87 carry rating. His numbers for his third year in the league, 519 yards on the ground, 3.3 yards per carry, 3 TDs, averaging, three, <laughs> averaging 34 Point six yards per carry, man. Like, it's, it's it's sad, you know what I mean? It's like he's one of the few guys who who is like a bus that I feel sorry for. You know what I mean? Like I really do, cause to me, like, you know, it wasn't like from from what I saw, it wasn't like he was slacking. You know what I mean? It wasn't like he was just enjoying his money and stuff like that. Like, he was still in shape. He was still doing things. But maybe, like, the mental side of the game was too much for him. Or maybe the speed of the game was too much for him. Because, again, when you do go to Alabama, you are playing behind a great offensive line. But you are playing against stiff competition year, um, year in and year out, week in and week out. You know, game after game, the SEC, you know, is a five-star matchup. Alabama, Florida, Alabama, Ole Miss, Alabama, you know what I mean? Well, maybe not Florida no more. But, you know, Alabama, LSU, Alabama, Auburn. You know what I mean? Like, every game has NFL talent, especially on the defensive side of the ball, man. So, who really knows what happened to him? I know that he has some family issues going on and stuff like that. But... At the end of the day, man, it's just some bust is like, you know, he kind of did to himself. You know, like kind of like Jamarcus Russell. Jamarcus Russell kind of did to himself. I don't care what nobody says. People can say, well, if Jamarcus was drafted by a different team. Yeah, if he was maybe drafted by the Patriots, things would have been different. But that wasn't going to happen. So, you know, if, when you're the best player in college, you're supposed to expect to be on the worst team in the NFL. I'm just saying. But anyways, man. For Madden 16, his attributes look like this. He's 75 overall with 87 speed. Agility is at 83. Acceleration is at 89. His trucking is at 80. 62 illusionist. Also comes in with a ball kit vision at 74. 85 stiff form. 88 spin move. 75 uh, for his juke move. And then an 87 carry. Now his career stats for the three years that he was at the University of Alabama. Roll Tide! He was, or not he was, but he had... 3,130 yards rushing, 
averaging 5.8 yards for his career, had 35 TDs, and had 3,860 yards from scrimmage for his career at Alabama. His career in the pros, though, three years, Madden, 06, Madden 16, excuse me, he was on the Raiders preseason team, but did not make the actual roster. But anyways, man, his career in the NFL, 2,032 yards, 17 TDs, averaging 3.3 yards a carry, and averaging 44.2 yards per game, and his average overall is 81.2. So again, he is a bust, man, but hopefully he gets another chance. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope that the rest of the day is the best of your day, and I'm out. Peace. Assos.